the disks on the KI just fit us in the naked singularity space times, which are a spherical symmetric solution of a modified version of Hojava gravity. So this work uh, is done in collaboration with Jan She, Vodek Kluzniak, Zdena Stuklik, and Marek Abramovich. And the aim of the talk is to present the general features of circular motion in uh, this ki just fits us in a singularity space time. And see what are the difference between the black hole solution and the naked singularity solution, mainly based on the stability of circular orbits. So, yeah. So, uh, Hojava gravity was uh, proposed a few years ago, and uh, as we have seen in the, the morning session, uh, it is a quantum theory of gravity which has at high energies. Uh, it doesn't have Lorentz invariance. It has this kind of uh, invariance, this kind of scaling. But when we restrict to the uh, GR-like case, the case which is of low energies, we recover Lorentz invariance. And it would be interesting to see if there is any astronomical astrophysical implication. So Hojava gravity has received much, much attention since 2009. Uh, from theoretical, theoretical developments of the theory to applications to cosmology and astrophysics. So at the same year, Keagias and Svetsos uh, presented a solution for a modified version of this theory, which is compatible with Minkowski vacuum. They assumed spherical symmetry, asymptotic reflectness, and vacuum, meaning no, no external matter. And this form, and they arrived at this form for the matter, where f is given by this expression, where m is the usual Schwarzschild uh, mass, and omega is a new parameter from the theory. If we put uh, putting f equals to zero, uh, there are two event horizons at those positions. And if we put omega to infinity, we recover Schwarzschild. So uh, this omega parameter would measure deviations from Schwarzschild metric. Uh, it is interesting to, no to notice that this expression uh, is valid once this quantity is positive. Sorry. So it will dis distinguish between the black hole and the naked singularity uh, regimes. And in order to study motion, we must know which equation of motion we are using. So many of the astronomical tests and uh, to today they use geodesics of the metric as the equation of motion for test particles. And this is what we will assume uh, for this work. So if we assume this, we can write an effective potential uh, formulation for time-like motion, where, as presented in the previous talks, we have the energy is given by a kinetic plus a po effective potential term, and the effective potential is given by this uh, formula. And so what happens when we consider the anti-gravity situation? If we come back to the horizon formula, we see that for omega m squared less than 1 half, there is no horizon. So rescaling x as r over m and considering this case, we see, well, first of all, in Newtonian gravity, uh, static observer will always feel in, in words. 
uh, gravitational force. But we see that for KS metric, uh, the acceleration of a static observer goes to zero at one point, one, uh, which is positive. And so in, in the naked singularity regime, we have an anti-gravity radius at which the static observer is a geodesic. So he, the static observer can remain still. So inside this radius, gravity is repulsive. Outside, it is attracted as it, it is in Schwarzschild. So it would be interesting to see what happens in this radius. If we, we write the effective potential for radial motion, zero angular momentum, uh, and depict it for different values of omega, we see that in, in black, it's na the naked singular singularity regime. So the potential has a minimum corresponding exactly well, for radial motion, radial geodesic motion, it corresponds to the place at which the observer is at rest. And as omega grows in the naked singular singularity regime, we see that this minimum still exists for every value of the parameter. And then on the gray curves, we see the black hole case, which is uh, qualitatively uh, similar to Schwarzschild. So we have an anti-gravity radius. What else do we have in the, in the solution? We have an interesting feature, which appears in other naked singularity uh, space times. That is that the photon motion, oh, sorry, the photon motion, which is described by this effective potential, it, well, if omega, the parameter, new parameter omega, increases from zero to 0 0.5, which is the naked singularity regime, the uh, uh, for low values of omega m squared, we don't have photon orbits. But once it grows a little bit more, we find a marginally stable photon orbit, which corresponds to this critical point of the effecti effective potential. And when the new, this new parameter omega grows a little more, this marginally stable orbit uh, opens in a branch, which is, uh, as in Schwarzschild, it is an unstable photon orbit, and a branch which corresponds to stable photon orbits. Here is the Schwarzschild value, 3m. So we see that in the naked singularity regime, there is always a stable photon orbit. Uh, for omega greater than this value. And, well, since we have seen the anti-gravity region and the photon orbit region, now we can constrain our parameter region in order to see what happens with circular time-like motion. And what happens is the following. From the effecti effective potential formulation, we see that minimum of the effective potential corresponding to uh, stable orbits. They are presented in dark gray. Uh, unstable orbits are presented in light gray. White region. Uh, doesn't allow circular time-like motion, and black region is near the horizon. So 0.5 corresponds to that critical value, which differs between naked singularity and black hole regions. So it's interesting to see that if we have, uh, for fixes, if we fix omega, and we have a small mass, we will be in this region, which is a region at which we have here in black the anti-gravity radius, and then just after, the whole region is of stable time-like motion. Once, let's say for omega uh, fixed, for mass incre once mass increases, 
we end up at a place where a uh, marginally, marginally stable circular orbit appears. So this branch corresponds to the usual innermost stable circular orbit. And we have also an inner region of stability. In this inner region of stability, uh, in, this range of, in this range of parameters, from here to here, we have in this inner region that there is an outer stable circular orbit, meaning that it will be unstable, unstable, and stable again. But once this parameter increases a little more, the photon orbits appear. And when the photon orbits, orbits appear, this corresponding to a uh, stable uh, photon motion and this to unstable photon motion, we see that the inner region of stability still exists. But since this orbit is a photon orbit, the angular momentum and the energy of those orbits go to infinity at this value which is qualitatively different from this region, or the angular momentum goes to a finite value here. So this picture showing the stability of circular orbits is similar to what happens in the riser nordstrom case, where Pugliese, Quevedo, and Ruffini presented. Well, their results could be summarized in this picture. And we see that it is very similar what happens. The qualitative behavior is, is the same. For the parameter charge to minus 2, we have here stable motion. Then it, uh, marginally stable orbits appear. And then photon orbits appear. So as a final remark, I would like just to mention that the profile of uh, angular velocity is diff very different from the new Newtonian profile. Since we have an anti-gravity radius, and this radius omega goes to zero. So in the naked singularity regime, what happens is that when, omega, when the Rojava parameter grows from zero to 0.5, uh, which means growing this way in the curves, there will be a maximum of the angular velocity squared. And then there will appear here a region of instability. And then the inner region, when there are photon orbits, will correspond to growing omega. And the outer region will correspond to uh, decreasing angular velocity as we grow the Rojava parameter. And well, and just to summarize, it was what uh, I, I aimed to present was that in the naked singularity regime of KS vector of Java gravity, we find anti gravity. We have <coughs> also stable photon orbits and inner regions of stability, and. The KS solution of Rojava gravity and the riser nodes from space times present very qualitatively similar features, meaning those three uh, features. And besides no known differences, uh, those, space, those space times share uh, many qualitative, qualitatively similar features. Well, thank you.